a really common debate as far as receiving goes uh, is about moving the ball and whether it works or not. A lot of times when I post a video of a catcher moving the ball, I'll get some, some debate, some feedback, some argument you could say that if you think the umpire can't see that, you're kidding yourself. This is why we need robot umpires. This technique is terrible. Everyone sees it. Honestly, the bottom line is the best of the best in the world wouldn't do it if it didn't work. We have to keep in mind that these major league organizations, these professional organizations, they film everything. They film every pitch at every level. They have the big leagues, they have triple A, they have double A, they have high A, they have low A. Some even have teams in the Dominican Republic and other lower level teams. They film every pitch of every game. And what they've come to find through their research, through their video analysis, is that the catchers that are moving the ball, doing it correctly, are getting more strike calls than the catchers that stick it. So again, the debate that it doesn't work is not really accurate. Here's an example of uh, one of the keys to getting more strike calls by moving it. Now keep in mind, if every time the pitch is in the strike zone, we stick the pitch, and every time the pitch is out of the strike zone, in the shadow zone, or strike ball, one or two balls out of the strike zone, every time it's there we move it, it will look different to the umpire. One of the keys is make it look the same for the umpire as often as possible. We constantly want them to see a subtle move and a flat mitt. And again, when done correctly, and some of you of my followers know this, I call it mitt magic. It's like a magic trick. When done correctly, on time, the umpire can't see the entire move. They see the tail end of it, or what we call the presentation. So I'm going to play this video. This is Tucker Barnhart, and I want you to notice the setup looks the same, the tempo looks the same, the presentation looks the same. Uh, the one pitch he does present a little bit longer than the other, but everything looks the same. It looks like an instant replay of the same pitch, and it's not. You notice the batter on top has orange cleats, the batter on bottom uh, has a shin guard on. So it's a different batter, although it does look exactly the same. So I'm gonna hit play, and we'll watch this. The pitch on the bottom is just out of the strike zone, the pitch on top is just in the strike zone. Notice the setup, the subtlety of his move, the timing, it all looks the same. We can slow it down. Subtle relax, get out and around it, bring it back over. So just out of the strike zone to just in the strike zone. If we go to the top video, you'll see this pitch is in the strike zone already, but his move and his presentation look exactly the same. The more consistently we can make the pitch look the same, the more strikes we're going to get called. The more consistently we give the umpire the same look, the more strikes we're going to get called. Although sticking the pitch isn't wrong, what they found through all the analysis is moving the pitch, moving the ball is better. Okay, it's going to be subtle, quick, and efficient. Make it look the same as often as possible. And again, when done correctly, it looks something like this. Bottom line is, move the ball to get more strike calls. It works.